what we also need to recognize is that this whole notion of global delivery, you know, there is this notion of a maturity curve. Different enterprises are at different stages of the journey. Yeah. Another, another thing I would mention is that this notion of global delivery centers. See, I'm not, you know, here, you know, I'm kind of trying to be agnostic to whether they are outsourced or whether they're in-house to an enterprise. Yeah. Because you know, my my submission is that that doesn't really matter. Whether it is owned by the enterprise or it is they're working with a partner like us. In both cases, you will only succeed if it is a one-team model. Yeah. Without a one-team model, you know, you will not succeed. So I am using the word global delivery center or GDC in a, in a more generic way to mean both outsource centers and in-house centers, yeah? Um, because at least the way I look at things, it, it, there is a superficial difference. It doesn't really matter beyond a point, yeah? So uh, now coming back to this maturity curve, I think it is very important that um, the global delivery centers tend to go through a curve where there is start with proving the concept and then a ramp up, you know, where, you know, often the starting point tends to be a lot about cost arbitrage and, and delivery scale. Um, and then you kind of get to a point of value addition. And then there are some, you know, which get to a point of breakthrough innovation and where the center becomes a source of competitive advantage for the enterprise. You know, certainly the McKinsey Knowledge Center, I think was one such example, you know, where a lot of the innovation that was spawned from the McKinsey Knowledge Center in India has redefined McKinsey globally. And analytics, digital analytics is now 30, 35% of McKinsey's global revenues. And all of that started from the Knowledge Center. If it had not started, I think it would have been, you know, McKinsey would have ended up being very late in the game. Yeah, so there are there are a number of, it's not just this one example, there are a number of examples you know, where it is possible to drive breakthrough innovation from the delivery center, yeah? And, and that is really, really a notion that I want us to understand that, you know, while the starting point for a center may be more delivery and cost arbitrage, there is enough example of, of enterprises and centers you know, who are operating at a very different level at, on that value addition curve, so if so many are doing it, it is also possible for where you are for you to progress. Yeah. And now, given that there is so much knowledge, understanding about, about the way this whole process works, you can also leapfrog. Yeah. It doesn't need to be a very, very sequential process. Yeah.